airplane reminds me of uh, an Ed Fisher design that I saw here a few years ago. Yes, it is. It's a Micromong designed by Ed Fisher. Now, Ed uh, was selling his plans. Did you uh, build this, this one from plans? This is built from plans. Um, how long has it taken you to get it? I mean, this is a beautiful little uh, finished product here. How long has it taken you to get to this stage? It took me a half year to make it. Is there any changes that you've done to the airplane? From what there's, the there's a few changes from what Ed originally designed. Basically with this plane here, the wings are about a foot wider, the fuselage is about nine inches longer because I'm taller than Ed. Um, it has a different shape to the rudder. Uh, the control surfaces have a little bit more travel and it has a different engine in it. It has a 2SI engine instead of a Rotax. And a different style uh, nose bowl on it. And I guess that's about that's other minor things like streamlined tubing and things like that on it. Now, when Ed supplies the plans, what do the plans actually look like? Um, plans, are, I believe, are 15 C size blueprints. Um, they give you a very good direction. The plans, since I built a skylight before, this one was easy to work with as well. I like his plans. Now, when you've got a set of plans, though. Is there a material list that comes with it as well? Yes, there is. There's a bill of material that does come with the plans, um, so you can order the material you want. I usually go through and look at the plans and make some substitutions, but I follow the plans mostly. Where would you source most of the material up for something like this? Um, a lot of the components for this came from aircraft spruce, um, Dillsburg, and Wix. From the point in time that you decided to build the airplane from plans and you had the material sitting in your shop, were there any special tools required in order to get it to the stage that you're at? Um, I really didn't use any special tools, although I do have them available. I have a machine shop. What about the, uh, the, the room or the rear for, uh, for building? I mean, these wings are what, uh, 20, 24 feet long? This one has a 20 foot wingspan, and the uh, bottom wings are actually only about 7 feet long, so I built this in the basement of my house <laughs> because it's air conditioned. Now, the, the fuselage is what, a 4130 chromoly? Yes, fuselage? it's all chromoly welded. The wings are aluminum, riveted. It's, uh, what kind of covering are you using on it? Stits, or polyfiber, excuse me, poly. How long would it actually take you to get, for example, so let's deal with the fuselage first. How long would it take to, to, to build it? You, you start with the plans, you mm -hmm. have to jig something up. I built a table. Um, I actually built the fuselage in probably about five days. I built a table, put the blocks on it, and cut the tubing, put it in, and welded it. Now, what, about, uh, what kind of welding would you have used it? I use gas welding. Now, what about the wings then? Uh, what type of construction used in the wings? Again, I had the same table. I made a table large enough to build the wings on as well. And then when I was done with the fuselage, I took all the blocks off, redrew my plan on the table for the wings, and then built the wings on the same table. What type of construction? Is it a tube and ladder type of construction? or? Um, it's a similar style as the skylight where he uses his widgets, and it's formed aluminum uh, angles that are uh, fluted to make ribs. I built a jig to build each rib in and then the uh, widgets are pop riveted onto the tube, the aluminum tube, and then there's, it's all metal, there's no cables. Now, you've got the airplane basically ready to fly in how much time? I, I have 14 hours on it, is that the question? No, no, from the point of time that you actually had the material sitting in your shop floor, was the airplane ready to fly? How much time was it? Uh, it took me six months to build it and then about three months with the FAA to uh, finish up the paperwork. Now, you've got it ready to fly. What kind of uh, horsepower are we using to power? This is 50 horse. It's and what kind of performance would you be getting out of a 50 horse on this? Uh, this one's quite fast. Right now, about three-quarter throttle, I'm doing about 105. Now, this is using, you mentioned, a 2SI engine. Yes. Uh, what model of the 2SI? It's a 460L50. It's a liquid cool. And uh, you, what type of reduction uh, driving? It's a three to one. And uh, what uh, prop does that allow you to spin there? I've got a GSC. It's a 60 inch. If somebody wanted to get more information, would you be adverse to giving a name and address, phone number, that type of thing, so they can get a hold of you? Um, yeah, that'd be fine. Okay. Yeah, just want to spit it out here. <laughs> okay, it's it's Randy Torno, and the address is 4285 Hawthorne Place, and that's in Ann Arbor, Michigan, at 48103. Thank you very much for your time.